Hey guys, Redstone Without Limits here, and uh, we're going to talk about negative numbers in binary. So, uh, well, let, let's just go ahead and uh, get some ideas flowing. So, in here we have all the, the numbers listed from 0 to 7. And, you know, it's it's pretty standard, uh, a pretty standard way of notating that. It's pretty much the only way of notating that, but okay. Um, but say that we wanted to go, so say, see how we have 1 through 3. We have 1, 2, and then 3. Uh, say we wanted to get um, 1, 2, or negative 1, negative 2, and negative 3. Uh, we'd have to do something a little bit different. This is called uh, magnitude notation, or what I call it, uh, and it's basically just slapping a negative sign on the end, and by the way, if you didn't know, this line would be negative, so it's basically just slapping a negative sign on there and saying it's negative. Um, but that, that works up to a certain point, um, but we're going to talk about a different method that it, I, I think... I like a lot more. So here we have one, two, and then three. And then what we've done here is we've gotten the inverse. So the inverse of zero is one, one. And um, the inverse of one is zero, one, or um, one, zero. And the inverse of three would just be zero so look like that um, so what we would have here is a negative zero which that doesn't really make sense but uh, hang in there um, so what I've built here is uh, basically a subtractor I didn't really go over it that much in previous videos but that's what we're gonna do right here so what we have here is it's doing 0 minus 0, which gets us a negative 0, because we have the sign bit. So that indicates that it is definitely a negative. So if we take, um, say, a number like 3, and we subtract 2, it's all, it's all good, right? Um, we get 1, and the output would be inverted. So we have something like this. So another thing we could do, pretty sure this is set up to where we are subtracting from the bottom. So as you can see right there we get a 1 and this would actually just come out normally. So let me just set that up. Yep. So we get a 1. Um, and the thing I like about uh, binary negative numbers is you can invert them and then de invert them, and you can get totally different answers, which is um, it's a little bit different. So, what if we have a number like 3 and then we want to subtract 4 from it? Um, we get a negative 1 because uh, we have the inverse of 1 and then we have the negative sign. So that's kind of what happens. And say if we do this, um, we do 1 minus 4, which equals a negative 3. So we get the negative sign and then we get the inverse of 2, or 3, yeah. Um, we take this and we subtract that, we get the inverse of 2 and a negative sign. So I hope this uh, helped you out. If uh, I don't remember the person's name, I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but yeah, someone asked me in my Discord chat, which if you haven't already looked at, um, you should go ahead and check that out should be on my my home page um, and also if you're into classical or jazz 
you can check out my Bandcamp, which is on my dashboard. So yeah, and if you like this video, then go ahead and hit that like button. Um, but I will see you in the next video.